Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let me discuss about creating a custom security configuration using security filter chain and custom user details service in order to create the user and usage of in-memory user details manager. Here, I have created the Spring Security project. Let me open the palm.xml. Here, I have added the security, starter security, starter web dependencies and I am using the Java version as 17. First thing, I will comment out this starter security dependency. Let me reload this. Let me create a controller class that returns the string. For that, what I will do is right click new Java class, sorry, package controller. In the controller package, let me create one controller class and the controller class name is basic controller. Annotate this class with at the rate of rest controller and create one method that returns the string and the method name is display return hello java eplanet annotate at the rate of request mapping at class level map it with a1 annotate this corresponding method with get mapping i'm saying yes slash data so let me test this by running the application whether this corresponding string has been displayed or not let me get into the bootstrap application class and run it The application has started and it is running on 8080 port. Open the postman. Here I have added the URL 8080 A1 data. Click on send. It is displaying the hello Java planet. Now what I will do here is I will secure the endpoint. For that, let me implement the implement the basic auth. For that, create one corresponding configuration class for that i will create one package i will keep that corresponding configuration class in separate config package config in the config i'm saying java class my secure my security config Annotate this class with at the rate of configuration so that in order to define the beans, what we will do is we will annotate this class with at the rate of configuration. Inside this class, first thing what I will do here is I will create one custom security configuration by using security. Oh, let me get into the form.xml and uncomment this corresponding dependency and reload it so that in order to access the my secu uh, security filter chain security filter chain something like filter chain that takes the HTTP security object So, first thing first, what I will do here is I will return http.built method signature. So, after that, http. I am saying http basic that takes the customizer with defaults. This HTTP basic method is used to enable the feature to authenticate the user during HTTP request. 
but it is deprecated in spring 6.1 spring security 6.1 in favor of http basic customizer that means what it is saying here here is uh, before we used to write like this in order to implement the basic authentication see here this has been uh, deprecated and it is uh, used for the uh, removal in 7 security 7 see uh, it is deprecated since 6.1 now get back and remove this control x now http dot authorized http request here we are using the uh, security dsl that means uh, we are using the lambda related uh, coding style in the spring security auth auth dot any request dot authenticated i am saying that means any request that we are sending that should be authenticated without authentication we can't uh, request we can't do the request we can't make any request otherwise it will throw 401 unauthorized that's it annotate this with at the rate of bean in the rate of bean control alt yeah this HTTP basic method is used to enable the feature to authenticate the user during HTTP request, but the, it is deprecated in 6.1 as we have discussed it before. These deprecations were implemented. Why these deprecations were implemented is in order to streamline the, in order to streamline our, uh, in order to implement to streamline the security DSL, which is introduced in spring security 5.2 the security dsl configuration process aiming to promote the usage of lambdas that means before when we use it to implement the authentication for chaining purpose what we will do is we will write the und method and uh, let's say for suppose uh, dot uh, No. See here, and I'm saying uh, this has been deprecated since 6.1. See here, for chaining purpose, what we will do previously, what we did is we used this and uh, related method in order to not to use this type of uh, chaining purposes like and and method and all those related things from spring security 5.2 they had introduced security dsl configuration process this promotes the usage of lambdas as the primary method for configuration configuring security so if we are using this if we are using this auth and lambda expressions this is the dsl uh, the new kind of thing that has been introduced in 5.2 uh so no need of using this and method for chaining purposes and all those things so what i will do here is i will create one user detail service i will create the bean for user detail service in order to create the username and password and pass this username and password to the user detail service to authenticate user details and return the user details Let me create it down.
return user detail service and what I will do here is I will create the object for in memory user details manager user details service equal to new in the user details manager and what I will do here is I will create the user dot with username hello java dot password with hello dot authorities I am providing as a read in the next tutorials we will discuss more about the authorities for now I am providing the authority as a read dot built that builds the user details introduce local variable I am saying as yes, details now what I will do here is by using the user details service dot create user I am passing the corresponding details annotate here with at the rate of b I am saying and return the corresponding user details service that's it. Uh, in order to in order not to use the default user details we will customize the user detail service by creating the bean of user detail service and return the user detail service by creating that here we have used in memory user details manager see here in memory user details manager that implements the user details manager that extends the user details service that means this in memory user details manager internally it uh, implements the user details service so in the 20th line we are creating the username and password authorities and we are building the user details and by using those details we are creating the user and passing those details to the user details service in order to do in order to authenticate the purpose of in memory user details manager is it is a class provided by spring security that implements the user details service interface its primary purpose is to support username password authentication by storing user details in memory and the next thing what i will do is i will create one bcrypt password encoder public bcrypt password encoder password encoder and return the bcrypt password new bcrypt password encoder at the rate of b so what i will do here is password encoder dot encode I'm saying we need to encode the password by using bcrypt password encoder so that the password which we are passing will be compared with the encoded password and if both the passwords are matches then login will be successful for that we are using bcrypt password encoder so the coding part has been complemented uh, completed we have used the security filter chain uh, we have created these beans after creating the security filter chain what we are doing is we are doing the author authorized the corresponding request if any request that 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 has been sent it should be authenticated it should be authenticated and we are creating the user detail service and we are, we are creating in memory user details manager and we have created the uh, corresponding user details and passed those and created the user and passed those details to the user details service and written in those details now let me run this and test it 
whether the corresponding request we are sending has been authenticated or not by using this credentials it is working fine or not let me check it in the postman copy this username here we are doing basic auth so first thing first what what i will do here is That's it. Basic call. Click on send. have got the error and we are creating user details okay exception Let me run it. See here, it is printing two hundred. Okay, two hundred. Okay. For example, if I give in the wrong password. It is showing as four not one unauthorized. That means the authentication, the basic authentication that we have implemented, is working fine. Working fine. See here, it is giving. That's all about the the basic auth.